So Cumber, it's, it's Sunday, it's Sunday lunch. You've got the three generations coming around for, mm -hmm. for lunch. So what do you normally do? What sort of things do you cook? Oh, well, for like a Sunday, it'd be a Sunday roast, you know, the mm. chicken, vegetables, roasted potatoes, all that kind of thing. But it's a lot of work. <laughs> well, what we've got is a real simple solution here. I've oh, done good. a really great dish. I, I love it. It's just basically a beef stew, and everybody loves a good beef stew. All it is is slow cooked oh, beef lovely. with carrots, some thyme. We've, we've got um, some shallots in there and we've got some beef stock. You can prepare this the day before as well, which is Even you know, just a, a real bonus. That's kind of nice, soft, delicate stew. You need some really spot on roasties with that. So here we've got our potatoes. Now you need the right variety, so things like Maris Piper, yeah. King Eddie's are really good. And what we do is just drain them off. Do you let them steam or anything? Yeah, what we're going to do now is just let them dry off a little bit. If you can chill them down, when you put them cold into hot oil, they will get even crispier. Ooh. Pop this on, and we're going to warm our oil up. Is this any kind of oil, or...? Well, I'm using vegetable oil, but I guess, you know... I mean, nice. vegetable oil, obviously, is a good all-rounder, but I think it's quite nice to choose uh, named oils, as I would say, something like a sunflower or a rapeseed. They've got a slightly healthier fat. If you're concerned at all about fat, then the thing to do is to have one less of Neil's lovely roasties if you're doing them in goose fat. That will keep the calories down. One less is a good, yeah. I think is a great tip. Yeah. A little bit of salt. I think the salt on the outside of the potato works better because you get a nice texture again. And then a final little seasoning is just some rosemary on the top. Mm, so I can already smell it. Yeah, so that as soon as the rosemary heats, you start to get the flavour straight away. Turn your stove off and drop them into a nice hot oven, about 220 degrees is best. There we go. And how long would you cook those for, Neil? They're only going to take about 20, 25 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because you've not got a roast in the oven as well, so they're going to get nice and crispy because they're on their own in there. So it's good to have a free oven for your potatoes, which is why a, a stew like that is brilliant, brilliant for sort of Sunday lunches and stuff. So I think they're ready. Oh, look at those babies. Oh, well, they smell that. lovely. That well, yes. Oh, that rosemary's great, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What we're looking for um, is that crispy... Ooh, that sounds good. ...texture. Because we've got a stew and the stew's kind of soft. Bit of yin and yang. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bit of balance, bit of balance. We'll get our stew. There we are, look at that. Oh, Dude. yes. Delicious, delicious. It's delicious. so easy, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So what other sort of vegetables and stuff could you put in here then? Some leeks would be lovely in here. Um, Sweet potato you could put in. Ooh. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Really good. So we'll get some nice crispy spuds on top. Yeah. So that, that's a good way to get your five a day for your children. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. So that looks yummy. Wow, look at that. It just kind just of falls fall. away, yeah. doesn't it? What you're looking for your meat is just a, just literally spoon mm. away. That's amazing. So. This meat is lovely. What, what meat is this? Well, I've used um, a, a bit of skirt, but you can use braising steaks, things like chuck, and, and I love ox cheek cooked like this. I mean, people are pretty scared of ox cheek, but it's got it's, it's full of collagen. But if you cook it really slowly, all that collagen turns to gelatin, and it gets it's a really bouncy texture. It's absolutely delicious, and it's packed with flavour. It's job well done, yeah. this. Well, you can always tell when the plate's starting to empty. I know that you've had a success. <laughs> no, that's absolutely. right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So we give this a try. Definitely, definitely. Mm. This weekend, I'm yeah. there. Nice one. Mm.